there are some significant points about the five men council of state. The chairman of that council of state is not the president. Uh, he acts as a constitutional president, but not in the sense of how you heard of the PRC. No. Before any decision is taken, all five members of that council have equal vote. That is, if if, if something is discussed on that council and one man says no, it's zero. It's like each member has veto power, even though there's a chairman. Each member has veto power. Our representative on that council has veto power. The other people, all of them. So nobody can jump up and say, I'm the chairman of the council, so this is it. No, 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 no. Each person has a vote, a veto vote that before anything is done, that council must agree that it must go to the legislature. We agree to establish an interim national legislature. Igno will send 13, we will send 13, Ulimo will send 9. The judiciary is there. We have the appointees on the Supreme Court. The three branches of government will be established. That will become the interim government. <coughs> I removed myself. We demanded that Sawyer, in fact, immediately upon the sitting of the council, Igno is dissolved. There's no more Sawyer, no nothing. We are going to divide the various ministries. We will send, uh, send so many ministers if they, uh, we are vying for four or five ministries. Igno will have several ministries. Ulima will have uh, several ministries. Directorship of different things. All of these things will be divided. So there's no Igno and got to deal with. So now, the poor in or the poor that have been hanging, talking about unified government, they got to swim on their own now. So Igno is dissolved immediately. This means that we have to begin to organize ourselves in a civilian army to move out to get ourselves elected. Upon the election, we then control the government and we can do as we please. That is, we don't have to say, we got to get this. We expect this echo mob to begin to dissolve itself because you know Papa Nila is having a lot of problems. And he cannot keep a 20,000 man force here. In fact, the new president of Nigeria elected that Papa Nila is playing with Mayi, Papa Nila Rupo, has made it very clear that upon taking office within the first week, he will withdraw Nigerian soldiers from Liberia. He's made that very clear. Now, if that happens, that's, that's something else. But for now, we are assured, and we'll be assured of the fact that I mean, the women of this revolution have done very well. Have done very well. Look at the old lady, the Minister of Education. She has been sitting down in Cotton on your bond, dropping. She up and down. Evacuated people to they join them. So we must look at women too. Does it have to be a woman because you say the woman can't be right? No. I'm passing you. It may be a market woman that we know can go. You say, but we want somebody that got the people at heart and the organization and the government also. This is the reason for my calling you here today to brief you of the document, what it says, and what it should be expected. The core that I'm thinking about, I will be coming up with ideas for the code is to calm yourself down now and prepare to do a different battle. And I'm emphasizing this a lot because I say it's a new war. Political campaigning and political fight is a war. We want to move and win this new battle. And we have to look at it as War. If we don't win, then we have lost. If we don't win, we have lost. And we do not want to lose. Because we sacrificed. We brought this revolution. We've lost thousands of our young people. Thousands of our young people. Not just by our own fighting, but by foreigners coming and destroying it. And when you listen to some of the things that the other people were saying, Oh, let's forget about sovereignty, let Nigeria come, I'm, I'm let Echo Mall take over the whole country, we'll talk about sovereignty later. Oh, the people must say our land, friends. Now we are hearing 
that the Nigerian Agomor soldiers are asking the question now, who will pay us? Because it looks like that there was a D, if they had taken the whole country, then they were going to pay themselves. How were they going to pay themselves? It meant that they were going to sit down in the country and make sure that whatever government, which would have been soil, would have used the taxpayer money to pay them for the, the lives that they have lost and the families back in Nigeria. Now that they have to go, they're asking the question now, well, who will pay us now? Saying you say we're going to pay ourselves if we take over the whole country, who will pay us? So that means that, look, that particular who will pay us is the question. Because if those other people win, maybe they will pay the people. And we will be working to pay them. If we win, we're going to pay nobody. We didn't call them here to come disturb us. We did not call them here. <laughs> yeah. So that's the challenge. That's the challenge to you. Soldier who you don't do it, that means you are in violation of the Uniform Code of Military Justice. And we'll deal with you. We can even charge you with sabotage. So this meeting today is important in that. As Commander-in-Chief, I have told you that we have a different kind of war now to fight. This is the war of to win the hearts and minds of the civilian population to give us a mandate to govern, right? Okay. So they know you all well. They know who been causing trouble. They know who is capable of doing this. And what you have to do now is to get that change if you've done wrong. Don't be too big to apologize. I'll tell you what people have said on several occasions. Ah, the way that Paul Gray used to be bad, but he's good now. I'm telling you. <laughs> oh, that, I'm telling you, they say that Paul. I said, but you didn't know Paul. But I said, oh, he used to be bad, but now Paul Gray is good now. So Paul Gray gets on right now, Paul will receive. The mission that our father, our leader, brought us here to accomplish. Are we going to say now the mission over? No. 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 Then why? We have to stand now and think that the mission we came for, we have gone far, then I take it back to us that we are doing at a time what we supposed to know a military class have war on Sometimes they want to take it to be insult, take it to be a British race. I think with, with this level, and observe, a cut in the army, our ethic, the foreign, they will have a respect for us. But I'm trying to say here again is the, the fight phase was what? To come is to fight. We have turned the page. But the number of men they see fire yet. On villages, talking to them, who they not have to be convinced. Long their own business. They're on the feet. When they reach to one town, explain to them. They begin to explain to them and say, oh man, they're walking. And we and we are for them. That is, as our father gave it to all. Mission command to all hiring for individuals, a respect, militarily, the respect that we gain, that are supposed to be given to. Also, we give it to Thank you, Thank you, sir. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, then, we started. Uh, yeah. so, oh, sorry, sir. <laughs> Forgive me. Okay, for. Okay, John Lima uh, can be released from the House of Band throughout this revolution. <clears throat> we, you know, we've gone through several phases, but you may never imagine. What you have done for Liberia, Liberians, for West Africa, for Africa and the world, you will never understand. You've achieved something serious. Civilians came into this country and removed a military dictator from power in a region where more than 90% of the countries are military dictatorships. It's a very 
simplest thing that you have done that have affected the whole continent. 